Hi friends, today I am at the Charity Rummage again and it is just a beautiful sunny day. I don't have my two toddlers with me this time and so I am hoping to bring you along and film a little bit. There are way less vehicles this time too so I'm excited about that, means less people right now. So I'll be able to peruse a little bit longer, hopefully find a few gems. I'm on hunt for a few things for our bathroom reno to decorate with. It is, um, the video is going to be coming out very shortly on that. I keep saying that, I know, but it is. We're also redoing our bedroom, so maybe look for a few things for there as well. And then just some random um, clothes for the girls, potentially some clothes for myself. My husband needs a few pair of shorts. It is supposed to be 85 today, pretty gusty and windy, but I am going to hit up this rummage and I hope you enjoy coming along and seeing my haul because of course we'll get something. It's, um... I think it's now $5 for a fill a bag and maybe a dollar an item. I know they went up, but that's still pretty good. All right, let's go. These would be so cute for Nadia. They're just too small. It's a little worn out. And some of the seasonal decor. It's kind of cute little <laughs> Christmas mug. This is hand painted. Well, and curtains or table curtains. Kind of a fun mustard color. I never noticed these before. Oh, there's little pillow covers. Got it. Those are pretty. Alright, I see a picture down here. I want to get to. That picture's really pretty. The frame is just broken. Huh. Must be someone's picture of a farm. And that's cool. And this is cool too. Here's all the books. And a few kids' books here.
look at a basket. This place has a handle. Well, I did not walk out with as much as I thought I did. I paid $4.50 for everything, so one bag and then um, I did find one basket. So it looked like it maybe had been picked over. Today is the second day of the sale, and yesterday was a holiday. So a lot of people had off work. So that's okay. It was still fun to peruse, look around. Um, and I am, like I said, I just, if you've seen my thrifting videos, I do try to be a little particular with what I pick up. If I am not loving it at the time, I'm not going to buy it for my home. I didn't find any art or like decor really for my bathroom or bedroom, so kind of a bummer there. But there's time, and my home is always collected pieces, thrifted pieces. Not always, I shouldn't say, because you'll see new stuff in my bathroom and in my bedroom too. But it's just uh, what I like to do is find things that I really enjoy. So I'll head home and we will do a haul. Alright, so I'm going to share my haul with you. Like I said, I did not find as much as I was hoping, but I did find some clothing items, a few decor pieces, some kitchen decor things, I don't know. I might put a few things in my vintage booth at an antique store, or I might keep it all. You know, it's up in the air on some things, and then just found a few clothing items as well, and some newborn or zero to three month baby boy or gender neutral clothes, I guess, because I was looking through my totes the other day and realized I don't have much. So I am due in, when you see this, I'm due in like a month or less. So I'll share the decor stuff first. So I got this old croc. I had a brown one like this before. It's missing the hook. Like It's like this one here. So it's missing the hook on there, but it's still really cute. You know, I could store a utensil or two on my counter if I want to go the more brown route. But, you know, I was in a bag for $4. So, really cute little brown croc there. And I just couldn't pass this up. This is a Stata, Stata Stone Stoneware Japan. I really liked just that earthy tone and so I don't know if I'm starting to switch to more earthy tones. I have a lot of white in my home um, with some pops of color that I've been adding but I didn't know what I'd use this for. Like these two together just, <laughs> I don't know, they're so cute together. I might have to pair them on a shelf or something for fall because that's just really cute to have for decor. Or to even serve cream air in there, like that would be easy to do. All right, I couldn't pass up this jar just to have to store things in it, uh, whatever it might be, like tea leaves when I dry my herbal teas in the summertime. Now it has a nice seal to it. It opens really well. Just a small, probably like one cup or one and a half cup canister. Last decor piece, I kind of had missed this earlier. But isn't that just pretty? A really pretty colander. If I wanted to switch to more of a white colander, I have some copper colanders uh, that I decorate with around my house, but or in my kitchen, I should say. So this is a really pretty piece. It probably was just from a store. There's no sticker on it or anything, but with those florals on there, that would be beautiful for summertime, putting fresh eggs in it, whatever I want to use that for. So really pretty white colander. A few clothing pieces for me. I know this is an older skirt. I don't know if it's gonna fit postpartum or not, but I just have been loving like the white t-shirt with a little bit longer skirt. This would go to my ankle. Um, it's like I said, definitely vintage. It didn't have a size on it. It's got the button side. Oh no, it's got a Velcro side. I wonder if the button came off. So, and I think it also has a pocket maybe. Yep. It has one pocket there too, so maybe postpartum. Actually, it might fit up over my belly right now. <laughs> Who knows? It's just kind of a fun, pretty floral. If I don't keep it, I'll just redonate it. And then another pair of jeans for myself. 
um, if they fit. Again, I don't know when I'm going to be postpartum, so I think it might be a little bit bigger than I normally get. I think it's current Elliott brand. I'm not 100% sure. They do have some wear on the knees, the distressed look. I think they're kind of more of like a mom jean if they're a little bit higher waisted. So I thought I could try them out. If not, I'll give them to a friend who will wear them. So there's that pair of jeans. I can't try those on for you because they won't fit right now because I am pregnant. So that will be for postpartum. Um, I want one pair of shorts for my toddler here. They look a little short, so I'm not sure if I'd actually keep them or not because I don't want them to show her bum off at all. They are her size, but they just, I don't know, they just look a little bit short. So we'll see if I keep those for her or not. They didn't have a great selection of toddler girl summer stuff, probably because it was already picked over since it is really warming up outside. All right, and then one thing for my little nephew. I thought these were fun little boy sandals. He's the same age as my youngest, who's going to be two. Actually, he just turned two <laughs> the day after you see this. But So there's these fun little slip-on sandals with the back. All right, everything else here I found is for like zero to three or newborn kind of boy-ish or, you know, blues, gender neutral. So this is three month zip up hoodie with a little bear peeking out. Uh, that is Carter's brand. I got a couple like neutral, I don't know. I don't know if black and white is neutral or the trees are neutral, but I did zero to three month white or not white onesies, onesies. Those are Gerber's brand. And then I did find a neutral sleeper for six months. It looks like the lamb has been a little, just needs a good washing, but cute little zip up. So that would work even for a girl, but that was Carter's brand as well. And then two just gray leggings. This was Cloud Island. I bet these are even girls, but you wouldn't know, or pants, I should say, zero to three month. And then a darker gray, zero to three months geranimals. So those, I thought, as you can see, it's pretty neutral. There are some boy color, but once we find out what we have after baby comes, then we can uh, do some rummaging because it will be spring summertime so I can look for things then if I need to. I'm not too worried about it. I did get uh, a wonderful subscriber who gifted me some items for the baby so that will be wonderful to have in a gender neutral. Uh, then I have a nephew so she could hand some things off from her. But that is my haul. Like I said, pretty simple. Oh, the one basket. I'll insert a clip. It's just kind of like a wider top, smaller bottom. I have outside drying because I was very cobwebby so I sprayed that down and it's outside drying in the sun so it will get all those cobwebs out and cleaned out. So that is what I got for this haul and I'm glad you got to come with me on this charity rummage shopping and I will be doing a lot more, well we'll still see. I would love to take you rummaging this summer as well when I get out with a newborn. We'll see how often I get out but definitely subscribe if you haven't. I love sharing videos such as these, simple thrifted living, homemaking, motherhood, and decorating my home in just a way I love with second hand. And so I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. Also, you can go over to my blog, daveykillian.com, and you'll see recipes, some things on gardening, thrifting as well, and just some um, inspiration for homemaking. All right. Talk with you guys in the next one. Bye.